In the bustling town of al Azhar, there lived a kind-hearted baker named Ahmed. Ahmed's bakery was famous not only for its delicious bread and pastries, but also for the warmth and generosity that Ahmed extended to everyone who passed through his doors. One day, as Ahmed was preparing his dough in the early hours of the morning, he made a little extra. He thought to himself, perhaps someone in need might pass by today. In al Azhar, it was known that Ahmed followed the teachings of Islam closely, always seeking to help others as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had taught. As the sun rose higher, a poor man timidly entered the bakery. His clothes were tattered and his eyes were filled with hunger. Ahmed greeted him with a smile and, without hesitation, offered him a warm loaf of bread. The man was overwhelmed with gratitude. He thanked Ahmed and said, May Allah bless you for your kindness. I will never forget this. The news of Ahmed's act of kindness spread throughout the town and soon others began to follow his example. The butcher next door started giving away some meat to those who couldn't afford it and the greengrocer would set aside fresh fruits and vegetables for families in need. One night, Ahmed had a dream. In it, he saw a beautiful garden unlike anything he had ever seen on earth. A voice spoke to him saying, This is the garden of paradise, promised to those who are generous and help those in need. When Ahmed awoke, he felt a deep sense of peace and happiness, knowing that his actions were pleasing to Allah. Years passed and Ahmed's bakery continued to thrive, but more importantly, his acts of kindness had inspired a wave of generosity throughout al Azhar. People started taking better care of each other, embodying the teachings of Islam by supporting those in need. One day, a wealthy merchant came to the bakery. He had heard of Ahmed's kindness and was curious to meet the man who had inspired such a change in the town. After witnessing Ahmed's generosity firsthand, the merchant decided to fund the construction of a community centre where the poor could come for food, shelter and support. Ahmed was invited to the opening ceremony of the community centre. As he looked around at the happy faces of those he had helped, he realised that true wealth lay not in money, but in acts of kindness and generosity. And so, Ahmed's legacy lived on, not just in the loaves of bread he baked, but in the hearts of everyone in al -Azhar. His story taught the children of the town that even the smallest act of kindness could have a ripple effect, spreading goodness and changing lives in ways one could never imagine.